have an announcement about the audio tapes. Any orders turned in by 11 this morning will be processed. Gentlemen, this morning we'd like to present for you Tom Brown and Eric Dollar. Their subject this morning is new researches on the multi-wave oscillator. Thank you. Um, there's been a lot of interest lately in the multi-wave oscillator. My first interest in it came through reading a book that Borderland Sciences Research published, which was uh, some information that Dr. Bob Beck released in the early 60s. And I was absolutely fascinated by the possibilities of this. And basically what the multi-wave oscillator is from the standpoint, as I understood then, was you take a concentric ring antenna similar to the one that you see here, and uh, you drive it with a Tesla coil to spark the, you drive a spark down here and each ring will then oscillate by being driven by the spark. And apparently in the researches there have been some very good results um, as far as beneficial effects on life waves. And the theory behind this is that um, everything resonates. You take a section of wire and it's going to resonate because of the, uh, you can call it cosmic radiation or orgon or ether or whatever you want, which is always flowing in the universe. And it drives it and oscillates it to a certain degree. And uh, when you put it into a coil form, then you get a closed oscillatory system. And uh, the center of every cell is the RNA-DNA molecule, which is a spiral helix. And this also has a resonant frequency, and it's been found these resonant frequencies are within the radio range. So by shock driving these antennas, you could produce all the oscillations of the body and uh, therefore bring into balance. And I would like to point out this time that we're not recommending this for any medical use whatsoever. We're just researching into the waveforms and maybe in agriculture and stuff. Don't, please don't come to us for any uh, use. We won't sell these for medical use, just purely for research is uh, our whole idea of doing this. And uh, because some very beneficial results have been developed. This was developed by Dr. Georges Lakovsky, and it was outlined in his book, The Secret of Life, which is available from us or from Health Research, publishes it, or several other sources. I think Phoenix Books might have it too. And uh, also in, in that book, he talked about the theory of um, how the, there was all these vibrations and interactions carried us all through life and how areas where there was real thick clays in the ground, people had more cancer because the radiations were bouncing back up into the bodies and driving the oscillatory equilibrium out of uh, balance. And uh, Lukowski also found that his antennas worked without power in the way that he would take a single strip of wire about eight inches long and curve it into a loop with the ends overlapping but not touching, and he would put them around the base of a plant that had been injected with a cancer or something, and the cancer on the plant would dry up and fall off, and the plant would grow. We've done some preliminary experiments with this to test it out, because we like to test everything that we read and see if it really does work, because we've read an awful lot of stuff, and I'm not sure if everything's true, can't all be. And, uh, but we have on some plants, we've uh, put the rings around and watched them perk up, over like a day's period. So we're going to start doing controlled experiments on this and we'll re release the results in the Journal of Borderland Research. And now uh, this ties in with some other work of uh, people who work along these lines. Nikola Tesla put on an article on electrotherapeutics and he found that there was b very beneficial effects being around these high frequency coils. Um, I've talked to uh, Peter Lindemann who's been around a lot of different coils and uh, he says some of them put off real bad radiations and some put off real good. He's very sensitive. I'm not as sensitive. I can't really feel it. Um, but that is one that I've heard of. And apparently it works somewhere along the same way. We're not sure exactly what radiation, Lukowski said Hertzian radiations, but this might have just been a general term he was using because he didn't really get too technical as far as his writings went. Nobody knows exactly what he did. And also a man named Royal Raymond Reif, if anyone has ever heard of him, he developed an optical microscope that could see the living virus in vitro, where an electron microscope kills a virus and puffs it up so they can't experience it. Reif had an optical microscope that could see this, and he would isolate viruses out of cancer, and he would uh, then tune a frequency instrument, a frequency beam, which was basically a, a Tesla coil, 
driven by a shortwave, uh, uh, what do you call it, a shortwave uh, broadcaster. And instead of the extra coil, or the Tesla coil, he had a resonant uh, gas tube on there which would project a beam and he could tune the frequencies and he found the frequencies of the viruses and published all his works and uh, found it, he, what he called the mortal oscillatory rate, which is like when a singer hits the rate of a glass and shatters a glass. It's exactly what he was doing with the viruses and he could see it in his microscopes. And uh, we, we're trying to bring some of his work back on the open. It's been long covered up and lost. And it ties in directly with what Tesla and Lakovsky were doing. And basically what they were trying to do is uh, you know, regenerate the life force in some way. And of course, that's what everybody's trying to do. You know, I think that's what uh, a lot of us are all here for, is to find out you know, how these things really work, you know, their interaction. I find it amazing that so many people are here looking into health and eat the food they put in the cafeteria, but I guess we got to do the best we can. But one person who worked with uh, passive devices who produced the same results was a man named Wilhelm Reich. And basically he was slowing down the time flow because if you take an electroscope and it discharges down, if you're familiar with the electroscope, it has two leaves that push apart when you put a static charge on it and they slowly discharge. You bring an electroscope into an orgone accumulator and stops discharging. You just like a cell discharges its energy. And that's basically what the effect we're trying to produce with our antennas here. So in, um, quite a few people have built these devices as Borderland published. I've heard some amazing results on them and uh, you know the stuff is always there for research. We thought we'd just look in because in Lukowski's pictures in the ways that heal, he's got two wires going to the antenna. And in this design, he had one wire going to the antenna. And I wasn't really too sure on this. And now Ed Skilling told me, he says, well, take the antenna off and throw it away. He says, you don't need the antenna. That was one opinion. And uh, I started talking with Eric about this and uh, find out what was going on with it. And Eric, uh, finger doused the picture in the waves that heal and found out what was inside the canister holding up the antennas. And with his knowledge of waveforms and his knowledge of uh, high frequency apparatus, we feel we've come up with what Lukowski actually had in his picture. Now we haven't run any experiments on this stuff and we don't know any results. We're just guessing, we're just researching. There's just preliminary research that we're releasing here for anybody that wants to carry this stuff on. So this isn't gospel, this is just science here. <laughs> but we found here that these things actually produce, in development of this antenna, we found that we may not even need power because like Lukowski, he, he gave profound results with just single strips of wire. And preliminary experiments with Lukowski antennas, we found that we can double the growth rates of sprouts. That's just a you know, objective observation of myself. We haven't recorded this scientifically yet, so you'll have to try it yourself if you want to believe it. But we will be doing controlled experiments and releasing the results as far as pictures and everything else is what we're interested in to see how stuff really works. But maybe I could let Eric explain a little bit of the technical side of these, the two systems. Uh, one in honor of Dr. Beck, we'll call the Beck system. And uh, the other one we'll call the Lukowski system. And uh, let Eric take over from there. And uh, this is an open forum. We'd like to get Dr. Beck up here to give his uh, position on it because he's done a lot more work in this than we have. We're just guessing. He no, really knows what's going on. And at least we hope he does. He <laughs> looks pretty good up there. I reserve the right to change my life tomorrow. <laughs> That's pure science, Bob. Keep an open mind. 